All right. Triangle RST is shown on the coordinate plane. What is the distance between S, I mean point S and point T? So you go on the graph and you draw your little loops, S to T. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your answer is going to be six B. Oh, I hope C. Six. Six units. Now, what do we want to use the distance for? We have to write the order pair for S. What if somebody don't know how to count? Because some people say yeah. this is one. So we're going to write the coordinates for S and the coordinates for T. And then we're going to use our distance formula to find the area. So let's do that. So S, you, you, X always go first before F, Y. So you go in the X coordinate, and S is directly on 3. So it's going to be 3. Good, the X coordinate is 3. Yeah, and the Y coordinate for S is 2. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be 3 and 2 for S. And T, X coordinate is going to be 3. And the Y coordinate is going to be negative 4. Mm -hmm. And you could tell... In the um y coordinate, I mean x coordinate, x coordinate. Let me just put my x in y. X coordinate is three three. So if you want to draw your absolute values, which ones are you finding the absolute value of? Negative four and two. Right, because these are the same. So you don't want to find the distance of something that's the same. So go ahead and put your absolute value of negative four mm -hmm. and two. Now, are you adding or subtracting these? You add. How do you know? Because um, it says distance between because they had two quadrants. So yeah, this one so is a, it's across the x or x I mean, coordinate x is x. Is x. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. And so the absolute value is going to be four. Um, when you do absolute values, yeah, um, absolute value is always positive. Mm -hmm. If it's negative four, it's going to be four. So the absolute value of negative four is, is four. four plus two equals six. Exactly. So same answer. You can use the same answer mm -hmm. as this. Exactly when you count the loops. All right, let's move on to number two. That was a really good job. Thank you. Thank you. Number two. Okay. The art club is designed in a rectangular mural for the school hallway. Three corners are located at negative one and negative one. You could just go past those. Okay. On a coordinate plane. Find the fourth vortex and graph the rectangle on the coordinate from the left. Alright, so graph those points first. Go ahead. Okay, don't do So negative one, negative one. Mm -hmm. Just put a. You can put, nope, just put a dot. Okay. So just put it like a little dot right there. And then go to negative one, positive one. And then four, one. It's so right there. So what is the missing vertice to make that rectangle? What is, the, what is the order pair? Where would it's it be? Four, mm -hmm. Put the point. Four, um, exactly. So go ahead and put your order pair. The four vertex is exactly the x coordinate is four, the y coordinate is negative one. Now remember, rectangles have two sets of parallel sides, so these two are parallel. So they must have the same y coordinate, and then up and down, they must have the same x coordinate. So that is the right answer. Thank you. These are too easy. All right, moving on to the next question. The corners of a re rectangular dog park are located at negative 2, 1. All right, and then we have another coordinate, another coordinate. On the coordinate plane, what is the total length of the fencing that are needed to enclose the dog park? So the first thing I'm going to do is graph these points. So I have negative 2, negative 1, which is right here. Negative 2, 3 is here. 5, 3 is right here. So the other vertice is going to be right here because it said it's a rectangle, rectangular dog park. So I need the, the length, the total length. So we're talking about perimeter, the length on the outside. So I need to find the length from here to here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 units here. And if this length is parallel to this length, this must be 7 as well. And then for the height, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that height must be 4. And if this side is parallel to this side, this must also be 4. So how can I find the perimeter of this dog part? What should I do? I should add, add all the sides. So 7 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4. Right? 
7 plus 7, well, 7 plus 4 is 11, then 7 plus 4 again is 11 again, so that'll be 22. 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 4 plus 4. 14 plus 4 is 18, and 18 plus 4 is 22. So the area around the figure, the fencing, that's the length on the outside, the perimeter is 22. All right? All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, number four, which polygon have an area of 16 square units? You definitely need to know how to do this one. So you need to first identify the shape. So right here we have a triangle. And what is the formula that we use for a triangle? Area equals one half times base times height. Area equals one half times the base times the height. Because a triangle is half the area of a rectangle. So what is the base? One, two, three, four units. So one half times four times the height, one, two, three, four. Half of four is two times four is eight. So the area of this figure is eight. I'm looking for the area that is 16. So I'm gonna use the same formula right here because this shape is a triangle for C. Area equals one half times the base times the height. The base here is one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna substitute four in for my base. And then I need to get the height, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the height, I'm gonna substitute eight. Half of four is two, two times eight is 16 units squared. So this is one of the answer choices that I'm looking for, C. Now I'm moving on to B. One, two, this is a three, four. One, two, three, four, the dimensions is four by four. This is a square, you use the formula for a square, area equals S squared. Four is the side length, so I'm gonna substitute four in for S. Four squared is four times four, and four times four is 16 units squared. So the area of this one is 16. That is the answer choice. This one over here, you have to decompose. So we can decompose it like this and like this. Find the area of this, this, and this, and add it together, but that's too much work. Because our we can just count the number of square units. So this is one, two square units, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and see that this one is too short. So you need two more units. So that one it is not correct. So only C and B. All right, moving on to the next one. This one was already explained in another video. 